What's up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to, not, not welcome back, welcome to a new video uh, series that I'm bringing here to the channel. This is my f week one, round one match of the Lithio Battling Association, aka LBA. If you guys didn't catch the team introduction video that I put up last week, I do recommend that you guys check that out. Because um, it will break down my team and uh, what I thought about it. But anyway, uh, before we jump into team preview and all that stuff and what, and who my opponent is and who I am. Well, I'm Geo. Um, <laughs> uh, a, a few quick shout outs. That's what I'm trying to get across. Uh, first shout out is to Brendan. Uh, he helped me a lot with my draft class this year. And uh, he also gens me and my mom. So huge shout out to him. Um... And then huge shout out to Dylan, aka Tactical Monkeys, for uh, power saving me these items. And also shout outs to Hipster Hypno and D Train, uh, a good friend and an LBA member, respectively, um, for recording these battles for me. Really helps out a lot. Uh, there, the links to their channels will be down in the description below. But anyway, one last link in the description, which is uh, Matt, aka Teddy Vicious. I think that's how you pronounce it, Teddy Vicious. Uh, owner of the Bear Teaks, his Twitter account will be down in the description below, and that's who I'm playing this week. That was a mouthful. Anyway, so looking at my team, uh, I basically brought five OU Mons and a Weezing. Uh, X, uh, Scarf, Jolly, Excadrill. I brought uh, Specs, Gothitelle, uh, Life Orb, Gengar, uh, Leftovers, Weezing, because I couldn't find Black Sludge. Um, DD, Mega Gyarados, and Clefable. He brought Adamant Lucario. Um... DD Mega Charizard X Thunderous and as you guys know like I love Thunderous so it's a little hard to see it on the other side of the field uh, Sylveon the counterpart fairy um, Almamola and Drapion so um, anyway looking at team preview I think that like, as soon as I saw this I knew that Excadrill could have a field day versus his team um, because like clicking the right move as long as I get rid of Almamola basically ensures me to win um, so as long as I play well with my Excadrill and don't let Mega Charizard X to get to plus one, I should be good. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out as Matt does decide, black screen, Matt does decide to issue the challenge. Um, and he ends up leading with Carnage, which is his Drapion, and I lead with Excadrill. At this point, I'm thinking, it's time. Excadrill is just going to destroy his entire team. But unfortunately... He does have an air balloon, so uh, I don't want my item to get knocked off, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the hard switch on turn one into Weezing, nicknamed No Regrets. A lot of people like were like, whoa, why'd you draft Weezing round seven? But you guys will, s will see why I drafted Weezing this battle. Anyway, so he knocks off my leftovers as I go for the Will-O-Wisp, and he I miss, he just whirlwinds me out, which is a little bit unfortunate, but um, he whirlwinds me out straight into Gyarados, and... I know that he doesn't really have anything to touch me on this set because a minus one poison jab is going to do nothing. Um, so I'm just going to mega evolve and uh, go straight away for the waterfall, pop his balloon, and uh, try to get some nice damage off because it makes him a lot more susceptible to Excadrill late game um, if I can eliminate all of his uh, flying types and ground resists. So anyway, I'm going to get a solid like 35% off right there as he just does go for the whirlwind. And unfortunately, he is going to whirlwind me out into my Clefable. But, you know, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, so I'm just going to make the hard switch out into my Weezing. Uh, because I, And the reason I went to Weezing as opposed to something like Excadrill is because I didn't want him to knock off and uh, have me lose my Scarf. Because Scarf Excadrill is actually my win condition. So anyway, uh, right here, I go for the safe Will-O-Wisp again. As he actually makes the really nice and kind of aggressive double. To his Mega Charizard X, and looking at my team, I have zero switch ins for plus one Mega Charizard X. Um, but as I said, Weezing will show you guys why he made the cut and why I actually brought him this week because uh, my opponent Matt is just gonna go straight away for the Dragon Dance. But Weezing says, Hold on, boy, I ain't unaware, but those boosts are not gonna fly. As I, as, uh, I go ahead and reveal the clear smog right here. Uh, do a solid like 15 to 18 percent, but at least he can't set up. Uh, he goes for the Dragon Claw right here, which does a lot. Uh, but I can just go for the Clear Smog um, again because I don't want him setting up. And at this point, I was like, you know, if I have to sack my Weezing, it's fine. Uh, he's in range clearly of an of an earthquake from Excadrill. But uh, I end up getting a Pantsblit off, which is really nice. 
as um, it allows me to bring this Mega Charizard X down to like 30%. So the range where I can actually click Rock Slide, which is pretty huge. Um, so now that I can just like freely click Rock Slide, um, it gives me no reason not to do so with Excadrill. And uh, he is Scarf, which is a little bit unfortunate, but um, Scarf was needed to outspeed pretty much everything on his team. Um, so if I could, so basically if I could just like remove some of Excadrill's checks with Gothitelle, uh, he would get messed up. But anyway, that's beside the point. He's going to go into his Adamant Lucario right here. I can't stay in. I'm going to get blown back. Um, I didn't think he would make a prediction this early in the game, but uh, I go out into Gengar. And Lucario says, boy, you don't want these hands, and just, like, blows me back with a Shadow Claw, so that's pretty unfortunate. Um, so Gengar goes 0-1 this week, but that just means I go into uh, Excadrill, and I can threaten him out with an Earthquake, and I knew Red Hero was either going out into Thunderous or Almamola. I didn't think he was going to stay in. Um, so I go straight out into Snooky, the uh, Gothitelle, and I end up catching... The based godfish on the Switch, which is really nice for me because this is one of the Pokemon that stopped uh, Gyarados and um, Excadrill from just running amok through his entire team. So anyway, I'm going to go for the Specs Teeble. Doesn't kill. He gets a Toxic off, and I'm just going to kind of like jib-jab. Not, not like the talking heads things, like the really bad Christmas cards that your co-worker sends you. Um, not like those jib jabs, but like jibber jabber throughout this entire sequence. Because basically what's going to happen, he's going to toxic, he's going to protect, and he's going to kind of wear me down a little bit as I just am trying to click Thunderbolt. And I'm like, come on, man, just like let me knock out your alma mola right here. Um, and he's actually going to reveal the Aqua Jet right here. And just this, wow, I'm ahead of this. He's actually going to reveal the Aqua Jet right here, which is pretty cool and a last ditch effort to, uh, Get some damage off on Snooky, but uh, Snooky is just gonna T bolt him into oblivion. So Alma Mola is gone. So now looking at the rest of his team, uh, only Thunderous is uh, immune to Earthquake now, or doesn't take a whole lot of damage from it. The rest of his team gets like uh, two it KO'd by Earthquake, so he doesn't actually have any switch ins. And uh, he's gonna go for the hidden power right here as he goes out into Thunderous, um, probably predicting something like Excadrill or uh, Clefable. Um, but neither one of those are a problem for me because I can just like click T-Bolt, get a solid 50-ish percent off, which isn't amazing, but isn't bad at the same time. And uh, Snooky does end up going down, but this gives me the opportunity to go out into uh, Clefable, and unfortunately my Clefable is not Spadef, meaning I can't just wall this thing forever as um, a little bit... Uh, unfortunate right here is he gets the para full para because I do actually need my Clefable to stop his Lucario from spamming close combat if it does get up to plus two or if he is something like a scarf set um, and I'm just gonna click Moonblast right here and I actually do break through the paralysis which is nice and I am able to take out his thunderous uh, sorry thunderous but uh, uh, only room for one of them in this town. And the Tampa Bay Thunderous are running this. Anyway, uh, so he goes out into Carnage right here, which is his uh, Drapion. And I thought he was just going to knock me out with the Poison Jab. But he goes for the Earthquake. He clearly doesn't want to give... Um, clearly doesn't want to give Excadrill any switch-in opportunities. Um, but I will actually be three hit KO'd from that range by Earthquake. So I guess that's pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately, I did get paired the first time through, uh, but I can just click Moonblast right here again, and I do end up breaking free, or breaking through rather the paralysis, and I get like a solid 30-ish percent off. I do get the Spatak drop just in case he tried to reveal anything like a Specs Draco Meteor, you know, because Drapion's totally run around with Draco Meteor. Well, like you know, like Drapion, Dra it's like D R A, kind of like Dragon, kind of like Draco. You you've Basically, what I'm trying to say is Drapion's a dragon type. Anyway, so I'm going to go out into Staple right here as he does end up taking out my Clefable. And uh, Staple at this point is Jolly Scarf and can just click Earthquake and 2 KO his entire team. So he's going to go ahead and sack this right here. And uh, we were actually in call at the time of this. Not we weren't in call, but we were like chatting on Skype. And after, I, I told him after I clicked, I clicked my move. And he said that he was Scarf Lucario. If he was, if he was Scarf Lucario, I lost right there. Um, he is Scarf, 
but he's adamant. So I will be able to outspeed him right there, and uh, his last is Sylveon, uh, which won't really be able to do that. Well, like, I'm not going to say it won't be able to do that much to me, because you guys are going to see this damage right here. This is, like, clearly modest specs, because look at this. Like, Excadrill will resist this and has solid spadef, but just gets obliterated by this Hyper Voice. But anyway, I'm going to be able to take him out with another Earthquake. So uh, that bumps my record from 0 and 0 to 1 and 0, uh, which is very, very nice as we pick up our first one of the season over Matt. Uh, so very good game, Matt. If you do happen to catch this video, thanks for stopping by. Um, but anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, um, which is... Just leave uh, press conference questions for me because I have a little project coming up that may or may not involve some press conferences. Uh, also, another one of these will be up in like a couple hours, I think. Um, just depends on how my narrating goes. Anyway, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.